JJ Watt is known for his high volume of crazy workouts. He didn't win the NFL's Defensive Player of the Year three times on raw talent alone. Watt did it because he was willing to work harder than anyone else. And while this is the very reason he's been so dominant the last five seasons, it's probably going to be the reason his career comes to an abrupt end very soon. On Wednesday, we found out Watt was placed on injured reserve after re-injuring the same disc in his back he had surgery on over the summer. Maybe it's time we stop praising JJ's work ethic and start criticizing his willingness to rest. Last season, he didn't miss a game, but he did play through enough injuries to fill a career. He should have been on injured reserve last season too. Back in March, Watt said, Last year was definitely by far the most strenuous on my body that I've ever had, fighting through a whole bunch of things that I've never dealt with before. We had the broken hand, I had a herniated disc in my back halfway through the year, I had obviously everything that went on with my groin, and I don't think people fully understand what that process was like. Maybe because you're training like a man on steroids, just without the steroids. Watt fuels himself by consuming roughly 9,000 calories worth of food every day just to compensate for his workload. His diet includes foods like oatmeal, toast, pasta, honey, sweet potatoes, and even more pasta. Those foods contain lots of carbs or sugar, putting them high on the glycemic index. Now this may sound like gibberish to some, but high glycemic foods cause inflammation on your body and hurts its ability to repair itself. And when you're eating 9,000 calories a day, and a large percentage of those foods literally cause your body to swell, it's going to cause injury. Now this might not be JJ's fault. He might simply have a grab life by the balls kind of a trainer, and if he has a sports nutritionist, he's going by some ancient carbo-loading philosophy, which is embraced by far too many, in fact, the majority of professional athletes. I'm not saying JJ can't return and be just as dominant as ever, but if he doesn't change his diet and his workload, I fear his career will end sooner rather than later. For more reasons why your favorite athletes eat like crap, please subscribe to the Sideline Dissonant YouTube channel and be sure to download our app available for Apple and Android.